Welcome once again to the Daily Devotional. I hope you're ready for a word of wisdom. We've got some information from the Hebrew Scriptures, Psalm 143, verse 5. I remember the days of old. I think about all your deeds. I meditate on the works of your hands. This is part of a Hebrew prayer. This person is in danger and is asking to be delivered from danger. As you read the whole psalm, it's a pretty desperate prayer. Um, the reference says that this is a prayer of David. Now, if you remember some of David's story, David was a young man when Saul, the first king of Israel, was the king. And after a while, people began to praise David as a great warrior, and Saul was extremely jealous. So he gathered men together, sent them out to find David and to kill him. David spent a long time with his men running from place to place and hiding from King Saul. Uh, this was a very frightening time for David, and he probably prayed a lot of prayers just like this one to his God. Well, so how can we apply this idea to our lives today? Chances are we're not in a situation like David was, but uh, all of us have things, enemies that we fight against. They may not be physical enemies like David had, but they may be spiritual enemies or personality enemies that we're trying to be delivered from. But you may have discovered that this takes a lot of work on our part. We have enemies like addictions, um, personality flaws, inappropriate thoughts and behaviors or actions, things that are on the inside of us that can affect our lifestyle on the outside. But also there are elementals and demonic forces that come from the outside and do oppress us. We need help. Well, within David's prayer, he has what I call a golden nugget of wisdom that's included in there. Something that we can do to help us through this process of changing ourselves. And let me read it again. I remember the days of old. I think about your deeds. I meditate on the works of your hands. David is thinking about the things that have been helpful to him in the past when God helped him in other situations. And if we'll do that, if we'll think back to the time when obviously spirit was on our side and bad situations were changed and things went well, times when we've been helped already, then we'll have trust that God can help us in this situation as well. Because the Holy One never changes. So if God cannot change, then spirit that was with us in the past is still with us, helping us today. This is an idea, this is a promise from scripture that we can rely on today. I hope your day is good and I'll see you again tomorrow.